Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at using Safe Mode on your Mac. So Safe Mode is a special mode that you can get to by restarting your Mac in a special way. It can help sometimes solving some problems with your Mac. Most likely, if you're looking to boot into Safe Mode, it's because you've read somewhere or been told by somebody in a support role that booting into Safe Mode may fix a problem you're having. Booting into Safe Mode actually does three different things. First, it will run some diagnostics when you boot into Safe Mode. And if it finds any problems, it may actually just automatically fix those. So just booting into Safe Mode and then booting back into Normal Mode may actually fix some things. Second, it will reset some caches used by certain processes on your Mac. Doing that may also just automatically fix things that may be wrong. And third, when you boot into Safe Mode, your Mac isn't going to load third-party extensions and things that run in the background. And it won't load some other things, like for instance, any non-system fonts. This allows you to check your Mac very easily to determine whether the problem you're having is with the hardware or your base system or with something that you have installed. Now, first, before you reboot your Mac into Safe Mode, something you want to try is just doing a normal restart of your Mac. That actually does check for some problems and may fix things. So you just want to try a normal restart and see if whatever problem you're having is still there. If that doesn't work, then you can boot into Safe Mode in one of two ways, depending on if you have a newer Apple Silicon Mac or an older Apple Intel Mac. If you're unsure, you can check this by going to the Apple menu and then about this Mac. Then look and see what it says for chip. If you see anything with an M, like M1, M2, M3, or so on, then you have Apple Silicon. If instead you see the word Intel, that means you have an older Mac with an Intel processor. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support Mac most at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. So if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, to boot in safe mode, what you want to do is first shut down your Mac. Then you want to start it up by pressing and holding the power button. On MacBooks, that will be a key on the keyboard. On other Macs, like for instance, on a Mac mini, it's a button on the actual device. You want to continue holding the power button until you see loading startup options. Then you can release the power button and wait for it to finish. Now you should see a list of the drives you have attached to your Mac, probably just the one drive, Macintosh hard drive, or perhaps you've renamed it. You want to click on it and you'll see underneath it a button for restarting your Mac using that drive. But what you want to do now is hold the shift key down and you'll see it will change to indicate that you can start in safe mode. So with the shift key held down, you want to click and now it's going to boot in safe mode. So now you want to wait for it to reboot in safe mode. You may have to enter your Mac account password twice. I think the first time it's for file vault and the second time is to actually log into the account. And if you want to check whether or not you've successfully booted into safe mode, you can go to the Apple menu and then go to the first item, but hold the option key down. And now this will take you to system information. Go and select software on the left. And once you do, there's a spot on the right that shows you which mode you're booted into and it should say safe. Now, once you're in safe mode, don't try to do any actual work. Don't try to open up any of your regular documents. Instead, try to recreate the problem. For instance, if you're seeing a problem with Finder windows, open up a Finder window or two and see if the problem occurs in safe mode. If the problem you've been experiencing doesn't happen in safe mode, now you know that it's not a hardware issue and it's not an issue with the operating system. It's got to be an issue with something you've installed on your Mac. But what you don't know at this point is whether booting to safe mode has actually fixed the problem by running diagnostics and clearing out caches. So the next thing you want to do, regardless of whether the problem is there or not, is to restart your Mac and let it boot in normal mode. Now, if you experience the problem in safe mode, it's probably still there in regular mode. And at this point, you want to contact support at your company, school, or call Apple support for home users and try to get to the bottom of it. But if the problem wasn't there in safe mode, but now it's back again when you're using your Mac regularly, now you need to investigate further. For instance, go into system settings, 
and under general, look for login items and extensions. So here's the items that will automatically launch when you log into your account. And below that, you'll see third-party apps that will launch in the background. It's most likely something here that is causing the problem. So what you want to do is a process of elimination, turning different things off, restarting, and seeing if the problem's still there. Once you've identified that one of these items is actually causing the problem, you can contact support for that company and find out maybe if there's an update or something you can do to alleviate the problem or uninstall the software if you don't need it anymore. Another useful technique that's similar to safe mode is to create a separate user account. You go into system settings and then look for users and groups. And here you can add a user and you can create another user that's just you. Just give it a temporary name and then set it up and it'll basically be a default account. Everything's set to default. There shouldn't be any apps or extensions running when you log into this account. If the problem doesn't happen with this account, but still happens with your main account, then it's just a matter of finding out what is running in your main account that isn't running in this new default account that is causing the problem. You can go to this page at Apple site for more details about safe mode. You also find information on this page on how to start in safe mode if you're using an older Intel Mac. Basically what you do is you hold the shift key down while booting your Mac and it will go right into safe mode and show you there at the top of the screen. So there's how to use safe mode on your Mac. It won't solve any and all problems that you have, but it will help in some situations. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.